Greetings, man. This is Manalore. I'm on the job right now, so let me know how the audio and visual are. If it's too distracting, I won't do it this way again. But I'd like to talk to you about having a teenage reaction to a man's problems. One thing you'll find after you've manned up, faced your problems, not that you know all your problems by any means. It's, it's like an onion. It takes, it takes time. But you do admit that you have problems. And you're working your recovery work, starting to build some sobriety. And I'm talking like six, nine months stretches, maybe even a year or more. Maybe even started working on uh, some of your root issues, those fundamental underlying issues that led you to this place in the, in the beginning. When you get to this stage in your journey of recovery, you're going to start feeling better about yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. You should feel good about your hard work because it's not easy you are bucking the way of the world you are taking a different path that for generations many have not done so there is reason to feel good about yourself but you need even have a little bit of pride in how far you've come not pride to the point that you think it's all about you, but that you feel good. And that's that's part of the tricky part. That's part of the trap. So when you start feeling like I did this, that opens you up for problems. And it's a common problem. It is, uh, I would say probably happens just about everyone, at least once. You get some success under your belt. And one of the first things you do is you will start slacking off a bit on your plan. Loosening up a little bit on your boundaries instead of keeping them crisp. Typically this starts with uh, your eyes. You think, oh, I can handle it. It's not a big deal. It's not going to hurt me to linger a bit on that jogger or that first pretty girl in the store and before long you slipped up or relapsed or maybe even fallen head first into a binge very common happens to just about everybody on this journey but so often it didn't have to happen that way because you had a plan and if you would have stuck to it, very likely you would not have fallen. Another common reaction at this point, you start feeling good about yourself, you're getting some confidence, and uh, you act out in a new way. Maybe a coworker or somebody you know she starts showing you a little more attention for whatever reason. Now all of a sudden, your confidence is high. You're feeling better about yourself. Maybe better about yourself than you have your whole life. Depending on how long you've struggled with your underlying issues and how long you've struggled with this addiction. And before you know it, you're in an affair. And now you're worse off than you were before especially if you're married because you have betrayed your wedding vows and your wife in a deeper more profound way and this could be the end of your marriage if you're not careful and there's other ways that you can mess up like this it could be with a one night stand or stripper or prostitute but the point is is you reacted like a teenager because some girl 
showed a little attention to you. Just think about yourself when you were 14 to 16 and how you would have reacted if a girl had showed you a little attention. That is exactly the situation you're in. That is pretty much your maturity level because you haven't done the deeper work yet. You haven't built that discipline and maturity that you've been lacking that allowed you to become entangled in your addiction in the first place. And that's really what it comes down to. Another common uh, way that you fall into this trap is, especially if you didn't get into porn, masturbation, etc., at a younger age or you haven't been in it for a long time is you won't go back to that you won't necessarily relapse but instead you pick up a new bad habit because I mean life's difficult there's still all the stress in your life still all those triggers and you gotta cope somehow and maybe start drinking too much or pick up some kind of drug or maybe you're gaming or any any manner of thing that is an unhealthy coping mechanism or something not necessarily wrong in itself but you are taking it to an extreme in order to escape your problems instead of dealing with them something i did at this point is i tried to escape into online debating and posting and chatting and just escaping into that world that doesn't mean a whole lot in the big picture of things. Especially doesn't mean a whole lot when I'm not working on my core issues and not working on my marriage, repairing the damage that I've done there. But again, it comes down to reacting to a man's problem like a teenager. And that's where we are. Dr. Doug Weiss states in all his work that men who are sex addicts have an emotional maturity of a 14 year old. And if you think about the examples I just laid out, they are the reactions of a teenage boy. I mean, think about how easy it was for you when you were 14 to 16 years old to get yourself in trouble, to do something reckless or dangerous or dumb or that you shouldn't have done. It wasn't that hard, especially if you had some external force pushing on you, you know, like peer pressure or friend or something you've always wanted, or like I said, some girl shows you attention. But what it, the point of this all is to understand that this is a common stage that most men face. But it's one I think can be avoided if we think ahead, if we pay attention and don't just roll along oblivious to the world like an adolescent boy and instead be honest with ourselves, especially in self-examination, in our time with our accountability partners and team and our wives. So often, I believe, I know for a fact from my, in my situation in my life, our wives will pick up on this drifting before we do. And they'll warn us. They'll flash the warning light. And if we pay attention, they probably will pick it up before we get ourselves in trouble, at least in a serious way. But if we ignore that, we'll crash and burn. And it can be bad. It can be the end of your marriage. It can be a devastating situation costs you your career your job and who knows what <laughs> because you're acting like a teenager and a man with a man's problem in a man's life in a man's body <laughs> so please please pay attention to those you trust to your accountability partners to your wife to your wife because they're watching and they need, and she needs you, and your family needs you. And this is a problem. This is a common trap that I think is generally avoidable if 
you pay attention, if you do your work consistently and learn to be that man, that man that God created you, man that your wife needs and your children need. So, I hope you guys find this helpful. Please leave a comment and I will respond. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, man.